you're looking at is a seismic network in the city of Long Beach. The network has about 5,000 sensors in it. It's recorded a small earthquake off to the left about 5 kilometers over and about 12 kilometers down. The S waves are the first thing you see coming through and the uh, surface waves follow them. You can see it's very much distorted by the uh, structure that it's running through and in fact cutting diagonally across the structure about well, the mid-lower part of it is the Newport Inglewood Fault. This fault causes the wave fronts to break up as they go through. You can see that before the earthquake there is in fact ambient noise being recorded. You can see the 405 freeway in the top center part of the frame and the 710 freeway down the left side and just below the 405 is the oil field that's down there. Um, <clears throat> the earthquakes exceed that noise field and after a while you don't notice it but you'll see that after the earthquake has passed through the array is still continuing to wiggle and jiggle and this is the scattering that's going on after the earthquake. It will go on for several seconds before the thing returns to the original state you saw it in. The dimensions of this are approximately 7 kilometers across and 10 kilometers high and each little speck you see in there is actually a separate seismometer that was placed individually into the ground. Note the white streaks you see developing across the lower part of the frame. These are the discontinuities caused by the Newport Inglewood Fault. Um, they're caused by the different properties on each side of the fault.